So these three guys are building this house, right? And they have all their construction equipment laid out. They have all the bricks, all the mortar. It's going to be a natural brick house. And they have an insanely tight deadline. The homeowner's paying an outrageous fee to get this house built. And uh, so they start getting to work. And, you know, they're they're putting in these long days and these long hours and the hot sun and everything. So one day, you know, two or three days into the project, they hear what sounds like crying from, from out front. So they all run out to the front and they, they see there's this woman and she's by her car. Gorgeous, beautiful woman. And you could tell she's distraught. So, you know, they, they say, hey, you know, what's going on? She says, oh, my car broke down. I'm late to an appointment. I don't know what to do. If one of you could help me, I, I would I would give you anything. They said, but it's so how we choose. So they start pushing and shoving each other and arguing and yelling at each other. And she's like, guys, 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 guys. Why don't we do this? Whoever can throw the brick the farthest, that's who takes me. So immediately, the biggest bully of a guy busts through everybody. So he picks up a brick, a nice, you know, all the bricks are good and heavy. And he just hurls it off. It goes down a good block, block and a half down the road. So he immediately starts walking towards the car. And the next guy, not as burly as the guy, but, you know, definitely, definitely a bigger guy. He's like, wait a minute, I got this. So he stands up and he grabs a brick and you know, same size brick. And he kind of looks at it. He's like, this is mine. And he chucks it up in the air. And that sucker sailed for like three blocks. It was amazing. And the woman, you know, she stands up and she's like, oh, thank you. So he starts to move to her. And all of a sudden, the, the shortest guy, you know, Pee Wee, they call him. He's five foot nothing. He weighs 110 pounds. He gets up. He's like, no, I can do this. He gets up. He grabs the same brick. You can tell he's having problems lifting it. So he takes the brick and he throws it. And it never comes down. Hey kids, Adam here. How's it going today? Today we're going to talk about a free plugin by Wave Factory called Snare Buzz. It does exactly what you'd think it would. It adds that bottom snare mic in, those snare wires, uh, those snare buzz. So if you've ever had a case where you record, you don't either don't have a bottom mic or your bottom mic is not usable or any of those situations, you want to add a little zap uh, to your snare drum, this is the plugin for you. All right, Warburn Reaper here, and I have a project up. Let's take a listen to just the snare drum raw uh, with no effects on it and no plugins or anything. Sounds like a snare drum. There's some ringing, there's some things going on there. It's not the you know greatest million dollar studio recording, but it's passable, but there's really no, that's not that, that snap. All right, so what I'll do now is I'll play it as all the plugins are on. I have a, a gate, I have SSL channel, I have my favorite Kramer tape. I have another EQ to take out some uh, notch, some frequencies, some of that, that ringy sound. And then I have all my sends. I have a parallel compression, exciter, a clipper, a gated verb, and then a plate verb. And here's what the snare sounds like with all of these on it. It sounds good. I mean, it sounds passable. Here's the whole set mix with all the effects and everything on it. Not bad. It's pretty good. It's uh, probably could use a little snap. So in comes this plugin that I was recently made aware of. It's Snare Buzz. It's by Wave Factory. Again, it's free. Let's listen to it. Just I'll, I'll go on and off it a couple times and uh, you'll be able to hear what's going on. All right, so you can definitely hear a difference. It's adding that what that bottom snare would be. Uh, so let's take a look at what the plugin actually, you know, the, some of the controls on the plugin. Uh, the first one is the tightness of the snare, and that's exactly what it would sound like. Looser is looser wires, tighter is tighter wires, almost to the point where you can't uh, you can't really hear it. So I'll play it and I'll kind of move the dial around. I'll start with all the way down.
The next one is the mic distance, which is kind of funny because they show an SM57 on the top of the snare, and it's really to capture the bottom of the snare. I usually leave this at zero because it, as you fade it out, it doesn't pick up as much of what you want. So I'll play, play around with this as well. And at 100% out, it almost sounds like it's doing nothing. Uh, next is the mix. So 50-50 uh, is, is half, you know, half wet, half dry. Uh, I leave this a little bit below 50. I'll put it all the way up and it'll just sound terrible because all it is is a snare buzz that it's adding in. So you can hear what it, what it actually adds in here. And as I add in the snare. So I've run this on a couple mixes, 35% seems about right. Uh, and then there's a number of types of snares. There's five different types of snares, five different types of studio rooms. Uh, the rooms, because I have the mics at 0%, don't really sound all that different. Not that great of a difference, really. Uh, the snare types are, are do uh, have a difference, and I'll put the mix all the way up for this so you can hear just what it's doing. So that's really it. Uh, let me play before and after in the mix with the snare buzz on and the snare buzz off. And then I'll do the whole mix, um, just the with the snare off, or snare buzz off, and then I'll add it in halfway through. So there you go. Uh, check it out. Waves Factory is the company. Snare Buzz is the plugin, and uh, I really, I really like this one. In the future, we're gonna try to get better sounding bottom snares. But if you don't have it, and a lot of people don't even know to record the bottom snare, this this is a lifesaver. Really love this plugin. All right, that's the end of this video. If you like what you saw, please hit the thumbs up button. Leave me a comment. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the little bell thingamajur. And also, I, I almost forgot. If you uh, want to really, really, really help me some more, uh, click the link down below and buy me a Coke. I like Coke. It's red. It's polar bear season. The, I thought the polar bears are on the actual cans, but but they're not. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Okay. We went through the... We did that. We did that. We did, I told that a little... Yeah, okay. Did that. I feel like, because this is one of the shorter videos that I've done so far, that... I owe you some more. I have this, this perfect way to end this. Uh, I like these like story jokes. Where, you know, you tell a story and you get all involved and you get, you know, set the stage and everything. So let's set the stage here. Set stage is like one of those uh, skyscraper construction sites. Picture all the girders, all the, you know, plastic sheeting, wind going through, 100 story skyscraper. Do they even go that high? I'm not sure. But if they do this, in, the, in this joke, they just stay with me here. And uh, on, based on because it's a, a construction site, and because the, the brand new building, they have to put in a temporary elevator. And these construction sites, they have like these bucket elevators where it's like you've seen it on TV. You know, there's like fencing around the bottom half, and the top half is middle is kind of open, and the top half you know kind of has some some stuff on it, and it goes kind of really slow and it's ratchety, and probably takes several several minutes to get from floor zero to hundred. So. At floor zero, or one, is it zero? It's probably one. Zero wouldn't make any sense because it's a building and I've never lived on the zeroth floor of any, zero, 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 I don't know. I haven't lived on that floor of anything. Woman gets on, she has baby in one arm, lunchbox in the other. She's bringing lunch to her husband who's all the way up on the 90 something floor, working on this building, working hard to get this building done. So she's tooling along, and, Babies, you know, doing baby stuff. About 10th, 15th floor, guy gets on, suit, top hat, smoking a cigar. You know, you can picture the type. No idea what he's doing in this joke, but just bear with me on this. So they go and they go and they, you know, make a little chat and small talk. Hi, how are you? And, you know, basically a typical elevator silence. But the wind shifts a little bit. And as they go, the cigar smoke starts to blow on the baby's face and the baby has a fit. Baby starts crying and and uh, 
woman, you know, tries the pacifier, that doesn't work, tries the bottle, that doesn't work, checks the diaper, no, it's that, and then she realizes the cigar smokes. So she says, excuse me, sir, would you mind putting your cigar out? And he just turns his back to her. So she manages to kind of turn, block the window a little bit. Baby's fine. Another five, ten floors, wind shifts again, cigar smoke right in the baby's face. Baby is having a fit. She's like, sir, you need to put out the cigar. That's There's a baby here that's that's really rude. And the guy's having none of it. He goes, I'm not putting on a cigar. This is a free country. I'm not going to, you can't tell me what to do. So she tries to, to work on the baby and she's, you know, and now the guy's getting pissed off because the baby's crying. The baby's screaming its head off because, of course, there's this smoke blowing in its face. The guy isn't smart enough to realize that it's his country. He's going to do what he wants. He's smoking a cigar. He wants the baby to stop. So he yells at her. He goes, you need to make your baby stop. She's like, you need to put your cigar out. She's like, you need to make your baby shut up. No, you need to put your cigar out. You need to make your baby shut up. So she slaps him across the face. He's bewildered. He slaps her across the face. She's shocked. She grabs the cigar out of his mouth, throws it outside. What is it going on? He grabs the baby, throws it outside. Now, during this whole thing, there's this bird flying around the construction site. What does a bird have in its mouth? The brick. Excuse me, sir, could you, you know, mind putting your guitar, your, your guitar? <laughs> sure, 100 story sky, 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 s